Zombies has had a very profound effect on Treyarch and our culture. I think it was a forcing factor for us to embrace who we are. The very first time we put zombies into Call of Duty was in a game called Call of Duty World of War. And it was an Easter egg at the very end, so you had to complete the campaign, and then it unlocked uh, Nacton Totem for the first time. Because it was so experimental, and because we were doing a very serious title with, with World of War, the deal was made with Activision that we wouldn't promote it, we wouldn't market it, we wouldn't talk about it. We just got this cry from the community, like, give us more, give us more, so we kept on going. I don't think anyone expected the size and the popularity and the kind of the speed of growth for the zombie community. Every single map that we've made, going back from World of War all the way up to Black Ops 4 now, has informed us about the different risks that we've taken, the different creative jumps we've taken. And I think we owe it to the community to keep going to the place that scares us, keep pushing the boundaries. Is this 70% fear and 30% excitement, or is it the other way around? I feel we've got to a point now where we can take that next big jump. And that's why the maps for Black Ops 4 are some of the most innovative and challenging maps we've ever created. So in, in Nine in Black Ops 4, we're taking our new cast of characters back in time to experience the gore, the blood, and the violence of a, a gladiatorial arena that's being run by an evil order hell-bent on converting the world. Then we have Voyage of Despair, which is our second map in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Voyage of Despair, we go on board the HMS Titanic, which, you know, spoiler alert, there's more to that situation than the iceberg. Blood of the Dead is the third map with Black Ops 4's day one offering. And the last time we were there was with Mob of the Dead, and that was DLC in Black Ops 2. And it's the original Ether cast. They found themselves on the prison island, and they're looking for a way out. Just seeing the amount of fans grow, the passion, the excitement, literally shouting on the internet for, for that return, we felt we wanted to come back with an offering that expressed how much we value our fans and expressed our passion and commitment for the mode as well. If I think about Zombies and where it's going to go to, that idea that we're kind of all going together, not only the dev team but the community as well, I think that's what makes it so exciting. Station.